Hello everyone, this is Coaster Daddy back again with another review from Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. In this review, I'm going to be talking about Afterburn, the B&M inverted coaster that opened at Carowinds in the year 1999. So stay tuned. Afterburn opened at Carowinds in 1999 when it was still a Paramount Park and was actually originally called Top Gun the Jet Coaster. This name lasted until 2007 when it was changed to Afterburn and a lot of the theming from the Paramount days is still very evident on this coaster. It's actually really obvious what this used to be themed to and out of everything at Carowinds this is one you can definitely tell used to be a Paramount ride. It's pretty obvious looking at it but getting into the actual ride the stats are nothing crazy, but has a height of 113 feet, top speed of 62 miles per hour, a track length of 2,956 feet, and actually features six inversions, so that's pretty good given the length of the ride. It has a loop, an Emmelman, a zero G roll, a bat wing, and a corkscrew. I had heard a lot of things about this ride beforehand, about it being intense, and wow, my expectations were blown away with this ride. I'm just going to come right out and say that I loved Afterburn. One of my absolute favorite coasters at Carowinds. One of the best coasters I've ridden to date. And it's a phenomenal ride. It's short and it packs a punch. This ride was so intense and I actually found myself graying out a lot going through the bat wing on this because it, there's just so many G's. From the drop to the brakes, this ride does not let up. It's about a 40 second ride from drop to break, so it's not too short. The pacing is great throughout, so there really are no complaints there. You go down the first drop and you get whipped pretty well through that first loop, but then it gets really intense after you go through the Emmelman and then you get whipped through the zero G roll. I always love the zero G rolls, especially when they're whippy like this. And then that bat wing, wow, just absolute insanity the most forceful moment of the ride for sure. Then you go up this little hill and just kind of curve down and go through a corkscrew and then you go into the brakes after that. I love the placement of this ride. It's kind of up on a hill. It's elevated so you have to walk up a little bit to get there and it's kind of tucked away into the park where if you didn't really know about it you probably wouldn't realize it was there. And I think because of the location, this ride doesn't really get much of a line ever. When I was at Carowinds, it was always a walk-on. The full day that I was there, they were actually only running one train on it. And that was really all that was necessary because it was, there was barely anybody in the station. So I just rode this thing over and over. And I loved every single ride. It is very smooth. No complaints there. I didn't really notice any rattle or anything. I love the color scheme of this ride. It's really nice looking has a pretty nice logo and the leftover Top Gun theming looks pretty cool around that area. Overall, I enjoyed my whole experience on Afterburn. Every single ride was phenomenal. My expectations were absolutely blown away with this. One of the best coasters at Carowinds. If you go to Carowinds, do not skip out on this ride. If you love intense rides, this is going to be for you, especially if you love inverts, because this is an amazing invert. Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and let me know what your thoughts are on Afterburn at Carowinds. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like my page, Coaster Daddy, on Facebook, and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. This is Coaster Daddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.